You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar person to Brockton High School sports, but not necessarily a TV personality, right? No. Kevin Cairo, welcome. Hi. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Kevin is our athletic director here in the city of Brockton, Brockton High School, and he has spanned the gamut from history teacher to principal over at South Middle mm -hmm. School, yep. now to the AD, and from what I remember hearing, it was your dream job to be the AD, correct? Yeah, if I really go back and take a look at when I started thinking about a career work back in high school and things like that, um, I said, Dad, what a, what a great way to match two things that I love. I mean, working with kids and sports. So way back when I first went off to college, that's kind of what I hoped to become. And then along the way, the, the path veered off a little bit, but now we're back and, and I couldn't be happier. And, Doing this it, job. Is, it is a tough job. You coordinate. I don't think people realize. I've dealt with athletic directors. I've been in cable for 33 years. Brockton, Holbrook, Sharon, Foxborough, mm -hmm. and then I dealt with a whole bunch of teams and then back here in Brockton. We've had great athletic directors in Brockton. I've, we've worked with a lot of them. We cover all the high mm -hmm. school sports. Um, you, you were very successful over at South. You, were, you had a great school and very positive things all happened over there. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like about it? What's the what's the fun part? You said working with kids. Working with kids, and it's really kids that want to be there, that are committed to being part of the team, and it, it's not where I walk outside my office and there's kids that have been sent out for misbehaving, which, I mean, came with the territory as being principal, uh, mm -hmm. but now you see kids that are in the weight room, they're out at the track, they're getting ready for events, and they genuinely want to be there. And uh, they love it when we come out to watch them and encourage them and support them. And um, it's, just, it's just like a breath of fresh air coming in here. Well, Brockton High Sports is legendary. We've mm -hmm. had very successful teams over the years. We, got a, we have a large school, a lot of talent, okay, uh, within the last week. Yeah. A bunch of kids were signed to major schools. You want to talk about that yeah. for a minute? Um, this, this was my first exposure to National um, Signing Day. And... It really is a big deal um, with these student athletes that have worked all through middle school into high school in the classroom and the field where they get recognized. And uh, like yesterday, we had a gentleman that's going to Brown University to play football and another young lady that's going off to New England College to play volleyball and another senior football player that's going off to AIC. Mm -hmm. So it's just a small, small percentage of the kids that we're going to have going off uh, next fall, and it just goes back to the great education that Brockton High provides and the op opportunities we give these kids athletically to succeed and hopefully carry on their careers. And academically. You uh, can't be an athlete unless you maintain a certain GPA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in the day when I went to University of Miami, the football players didn't necessarily even have to go class, to class. What's that? Class was kind of optional. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Back in the day, as my son mm -hmm. would say. But um, Brockton High is a phenomenal high school to begin with. The academics, and people pick on Brockton all the time, and it makes me crazy. Oh, it makes but, me, yeah, it does me the same. But Brockton High, the academics go arm in arm. Athletics, to me, I was not an athlete. I was a bench warmer, okay? I was involved in student government mm -hmm. and radio, TV. That's how I ended up in TV because of Brockton High. But uh, athletics is the other side of education. Oh, and there's no question that what the high school has to offer, I don't think people truly understand what there is up at the high school as far as classes and programs and after-school clubs that the kids can get involved with. And that is why uh, they have open house for parents to come in and just to explore. I mean, and unfortunately, the things that people hear about Brockton High, uh, the bad things. And those mm -hmm. happen in every community. It uh, doesn't matter if it's uh, small, big, urban, suburban. Uh, but Brockton High has so many great things going on there that parents need to come and see for themselves. And I wish, wish they would when these opportunities come Come for watch them. the game. You can watch them, some of them on TV, mm -hmm. not all of them. We try our best. But the kids want you there. Your kids want you there. Mm -hmm. The community wants to be there to support the kids. Now, you've got a good team. You have a great person that helps you, Janet Diver. Oh. She helps us. Whenever mm -hmm. I have a question, I send you an email, I yep. send her an email. She's a great support person behind the scenes. But you you had two predecessor athletic directors that helped you out, and you were doing double duty. You were principal mm -hmm. at South mm -hmm. at the same time for half the year that you were doing this job, correct? Yep, I was, and I, I've been very fortunate with having great secretaries to work with and, 
and people before me. I mean, I've had Billy Devin and Tom Kenny to, to mentor me. And I also know Tom Bolesky and John Booten and, right. and Peter Cruz. So, I mean, everybody who's been here uh, in the last 20 years, I know personally, and they've always they've given me their um, email and their cell phone numbers, anything you need. And I have. I've, I've called them a few times and asked for advice on certain things, and it just gave me peace of mind during the fall when we were going through that transition period that um, if I wasn't able to get something done that they would be there to help me out. Now, exciting things are happening over there. Sports is kind of an evolving landscape mm -hmm. in Brockton with the um, addition in Brockton of all the diversity we have. Soccer's kind of taken on a bigger role. It has. Football's always been a football town, mm -hmm. but soccer is pretty popular, uh, men's and women's soccer. Talk about that for a minute. It is, and it, it's real exciting. And I really didn't know what to expect when I came into this job. I mean, I know that the tryouts were happening before school started. And the first day I went out to see boys and girls tryouts, I, I was overwhelmed where we had over 100, 100 kids for both teams. I mean, mm -hmm. 100 boys, 100 girls trying mm -hmm. out for only 15 spots. Um, and it's just something that I just don't think it's a Brockton thing. I think it's something that is growing nationally now that it has been um, – brought to the forefront with the women, women uh, winning the World Cup in soccer and the, in the Olympics and um, the major soccer league that plays out with the revolution. Mm -hmm. So I think spot, uh, soccer as a whole is kind of taking root here in the uh, United States and in Brockton in particular. And that's not it. Wrestling is doing fairly well oh, in wrestling Brockton. Is you, great. you guys have a uh, new uniforms and a, is it a new wrestling room downstairs? The wrestling room was uh, given some new mats and some new padding. I want to say it was last summer. Okay. Uh, and the two coaches there, I mean, I can't say enough great things about them. They're two former Brockton High guys, state champions, mm -hmm. and they're, they're just so good with the kids. And I have to say, wrestlers are a different breed. I mean, just what they go through day in and day out with their training routines. And they know they're going to get practice and they're going to get beaten up. And there's still 50 kids there every day throwing each other around in the mats. But it shows when it's, uh, when it's match time. I mean, we won last night, I want to say, 90 or 72 to 16, which, mm -hmm. is, which is a big win for us. Okay, I'm going to give you the final word. I got the minute cue. I need about... 20 seconds of that minute. Yep. Anything you want to say to let the community know about Brockton High Sports or athletics? Just if you get a chance to come out and see us in action, whether it's basketball, baseball, softball, whatever it is, the kids would love your support. Um, it's just a great all-around time, and uh, thanks for having me here. Thanks for helping us. Okay. Always, it's always a pleasure. All right. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. And remember, watch BCA Sports.